Samoa, Tonga and Fiji are firmly established in the international firmament. But as we reported last week at the Oceania Cup, rugby throughout the South Pacific is thriving. The Cook Islands victory has left them just one match away from reaching the game's most prized competition, the Rugby World Cup Finals. With a population of less than 20,000, the Cooks draw upon a limited pool of talent, but one of their players has shown what is possible, no matter your background. Prop Stan Wright spent five years in Dublin, winning two Heineken Cups with Leinster, before moving to Paris with Stade Francais for the past two seasons. Papua New Guinea and the Oceania Cup may be a rather different experience, but to him, no less important. I think it's a good thing, these sort of tournaments. Um, guys from Tahiti, you know, you, you never know. Um, Solomon Islands, usually they just play PNG. Now they can play the Cook Islands, Tahiti. Um, I think these tournaments are great for world, world rugby, really. Let's go forward, uh, promote the game. Even in Papua New Guinea, all these kids, they're usually, uh, you know, watching league or whatever, and now they've got, got the buzz of rugby. The Cooks played their first international match in 1971, but opportunities since then have been limited. You know, at the end of the day, um, uh, the Cook Island rugby hasn't got that much money. Um, you know, everything these days, you need money. Um, you, can, you can always play with a coconut, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, you need money to, 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 to go forward. And, um, you know, if we can get some funding or whatever, I'm sure we can go places. Rugby in Tahiti is even younger. Part of French Polynesia, the game's profile on the island is still relatively low. Many of their current internationals play overseas. The presence of players who play in France is so important because they bring with them an ability to manage the others. And more importantly, they show us a rugby that is totally different from the one we are used to in Tahiti. We're very lucky to be able to count on them. It's not easy to go and live in France and leave your family in Tahiti, more than 20,000 kilometres away. It's particularly not easy in winter when it's cold and you're all alone. It's not easy being away from the beach. Despite these hurdles, Tahiti are becoming increasingly competitive. After an opening loss to the Cook Islands, the eventual winners, they pushed Papua New Guinea close in their next match. This despite a difference of 36 places in the world rankings. And they lost by just a point to the Solomon Islands in their final game. Their French influence much in evidence. This is what enables us to stand out from the other Pacific countries. We benefit from the French culture and from what our players bring back with them from France. We knew we would struggle with our speed and power, so most of our preparation has been focused on the forwards, on our scrums and on our lineouts, and we saw it gave our opponents real difficulties. I took part in the Oceania Cup in 2006, and the difference between then and now is huge. We're seeing more and more young players emerge, and Tahitian rugby is starting to gain real importance in the region. The Solomons' win over Tahiti was their only success, but they were far from disgraced in their two other games. It's developing. Um, we've just started a development program there and bringing the young kids up through the, uh, the ranks and that. It's a um, very physical game up there for the local guys and that. And, um, it's um, a bit behind standards, but we're working, working on it, getting, bringing it up. And competitions such as the Oceania Cup are essential if that growth is to continue. We need more, more exposure to this kind of level of rugby. Um, with Serif, we're starting to look into doing tours to Australia and other Pacific islands to um, get more exposure to that kind of rugby. We've still got a long way to go, but we're slowly getting there. We're getting help from IRB and all that with development, and, and all that's slowly improving, so hopefully we'll get there one day.